and abjure, renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity, all allegiance and fidelity to, any to any foreign prince, potentate, potentate state, or state or sovereignty, of whom or which, whom or which I, have I have heretofore been a subject or citizen, subject or citizen that I will support and defend the Constitution and Laws, the Constitution and laws of, the States of, of the United States of America against all enemies, against all foreign, enemies. And domestic, foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith, bear true faith and, allegiance and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms, will bear arms on, behalf States, on behalf of the United States when required by the law that I will perform non-combatant service, non service in the armed forces of the United States, the armed of the United States when, required when required by the law, that I will perform work, will perform work of, national of national importance under civilian direction, under civilian direction when, required when required by the law, and that I take this obligation freely Without any, Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, purpose of evasion. So, help so help me God. Congratulations. We would like to share with you a statement written in 1917 by William Tyler Page, The American's Creed. I believe in the United States of America as a government of the people, by the people, for the people, whose just powers are derived from the consent of the governed, a democracy in a republic, a sovereign nation of many sovereign states, a perfect union, one and inseparable, established upon these principles of freedom, equality, justice, and humanity for which American patriots sacrificed their lives and fortunes I therefore believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, to respect its flag, and to defend it against all enemies. On behalf of the Daughters of the American Revolution, we welcome each of you to citizenship today to the United States of America. Congratulations. If all of you will stand, and will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now we will hear uh, a recording from uh, the president of our country, followed by uh, the singing of America the Beautiful. It's an honor and a privilege to call you a fellow citizen of the United States of America. This is now officially your country, your home to protect, to defend, and to serve through active and engaged citizenship. Together, we are a nation united not by any one culture or ethnicity or ideology, but by the principles of opportunity, equality, and liberty that are enshrined in our founding documents. Today marks a very special day in your life. You've traveled a long path to get here. You've sworn a solemn oath to this country, and now you have all the rights of citizenship. With the privileges of citizenship, though, come great responsibilities. And so I ask that you use your freedoms and your talents to contribute to the good of our nation and the world. Always remember that in America, no dream is impossible. Like the millions of immigrants who have come before you, you have the opportunity to enrich this country through your contributions to civic society, business, culture, and your